I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I want to say what's going on everybody. May the Lord bless you. I hope that everybody had a beautiful blessed weekend as the Lord has allowed us to make it to another blessed week, another blessed day this beautiful Monday. My title says Harp has caused a lot of this mess. You know about two years ago a lot of people um, laughed at me when I done the video about Harp. You know and Harp if you've never studied about it I'm not gonna you know do a long video talking about what all it can do um, like I did in the other video um, because we've covered that. But if you get a chance my brothers and sisters I know a lot of y'all know about it but somebody might be looking at this that never heard about it and um, think because a lot of people keep thinking that the Lord is causing all of this stuff these earthquakes and tsunamis and all kind of you know crazy things going on with the weather everybody always, that I know always talking about that ain't that's the Lord I don't know why the Lord did that but when you study heart which stands for high frequency active or rural research program that's what the H-A-A-R-P stand for you're going to see a whole lot you're going to see a whole lot this top secret weapon that a lot of people want to keep silent, you know, what this thing can really do. But when you tap into it and study and do some research on it, and then tie it in with the Bible, you're going to see a lot. Matter of fact, um, I think I've done, uh, I did do a video um, with Revelation chapter 13 compared with Hawk. Because Revelation chapter 13 really breaks down a lot. And it shows us how signs and wonders, you know, will be coming from the heavens. But it's not the Lord. It's the fake one, the Antichrist. You know, the, the devil. All of the devil and his little posse. And Jesus said something so so um, so um real in Matthew 24 when he talked about these things. The, the earthquakes, the starvation, you know, the... the um, we could say all this stuff about the weather. This is what Jesus was talking about. But something people miss in Matthew 24, Jesus never said he was going to be the one doing that. While we trying to make everything be on the Lord. That's the Lord's fault. The Lord is the only one controlling the weather. We'll study hard. And I guarantee you. Because man have always been trying to be God. Play God. Outdo God. And the Lord the most high would not be outdone by nobody y'all. So I like to do videos like this as a wake up call because I believe it's been about two years since we talked about it and I said a long time ago I pray that people study you know because these things are so overlooked y'all so overlooked. That's why I asked in the video not too long ago do you really do you really believe that the Lord is the one causing all these earthquakes hurricanes, twisters, you name it. Do you really think the Lord is doing all that? See, I I go a little bit deeper up here because I believe in what people won't believe, don't want to hear. The things that people don't want to hear, those are the things that I love to hear. Not saying I know it all and I'm better than nobody, but when I study this Bible, I want to be alert. I want to be focused. I want to be aware of everything that's going on because, see, it's all laid out right here. So when you study Matthew 24, Revelation 13, and then look at Hawk compared with this. Tell me if you see a little bit of truth in a lot of what they say about Hawk. Brother PP Drawings, I already know um, you've been on it for a while, man. And um, this thing is, 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 is getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand what's going on in this world. But don't be shocked. Christians and folks, you know, don't be shocked because the Bible told us these days was coming. But we need to start believing. And we always talking about faith, believing in what we cannot see. But why we don't understand a lot of times, not all of us, but why we don't understand. And we and we talking about seeing in the spirit. Why we can't see that the devil has to have something to operate with. I know a lot of churches are so busy. Let me just say it like I want. So many churches are so busy having revivals and musicals, you know, the bake sales, church building, raising money, funds, all this kind of stuff, man. But are we really in this? 
Are we talking about things that the Bible has told us coming and warning people? Or are we just so busy being caught up in the church building, y'all? Because if you see what I'm saying, you'll see that the Lord shouldn't be getting blamed for all this stuff. When you even let me let me let me just have this little real talk video, y'all, because I hope I'm saying something that could help somebody and, and go study HARP. H A A R P. And even with the airplanes, they also have these these chem trails, y'all, of or we could say aerosol spraying program. You got metal particles that are sprayed from the planes being activated by heart. And then you wonder why we see so many planes crashing lately. Oh, that was the Lord, JT. The Lord, man, it's the Lord fault the plane crash. See, some of y'all gonna think I'm stupid what I'm saying in this video. We don't think that mankind have that much power to to mess with the atmosphere, not atmosphere, but to, yeah, we can say it like that, to mess with the weather control. You know how long they talked about heart causing the earthquake in Haiti? Y'all remember that? Remember Haiti then? Even look at Japan. What happened in Japan? You got about three um three heart programs. It might be more than that now, but I know for sure you got three because you got one in Alaska, you got the U.S., and then... um. I think it's one in Russia shooting them RF in the sky, y'all. The RFs can can implant thoughts. See, this this stuff that people don't want to believe, y'all. And then you wonder why people keep talking about an RF chip. Satan got so much going on that he has got folks' mind off of this. We too big to trying to figure out oh what the mark of the beast is gonna be to. We need to figure out this, who the man is seeing going to be, what color they going to be, are they going to be black, white. You know what you need to have your head in? This book, y'all. This is all we need right here. A lot of people do not want to accept this beautiful word right here, y'all. And it's sad. They tell us anything. Media tell you anything. But let me tell you something, y'all. I know they say harp is just research. It's just for communication. But let me tell you something. It's way more deeper than that. Way more deeper than that. We got these things happening right in front of us. And we don't even want to believe it. To have war, you got to have something to fight with, don't you? Who goes to war empty-handed? And I'm going to say this from the bottom of my heart because when I look at the government even when I go back to when Bush was in office man America have messed up so much y'all so many people have gotten killed so many brothers sisters daddies and mothers didn't even make it back home y'all we've been had war ain't nothing new and sometimes you got to go to war to make peace. A lot of people don't understand that. And there will be a battle of Armageddon. So when I look at the reason why I'm saying this about heart, because when you tie this in with military, when you tie this in with, with we don't really know what's all going on with these weapons, y'all. You don't know what kind of stuff they are practicing. And this is why, if you notice lately, man, the weather been so out of control. Man, it's so much I can say in this video. But look at the weather and how it's been for the last, especially the last two or three years in a row. Down here in Dallas alone, we have had more tornadoes than anything. Anything, y'all. So when I look at the heart, and I'm trying to make sure I say this right. Because somebody might say, he must don't believe in the Lord. He said, no, I believe in the devil also. See, some of y'all have catch that. I believe in the devil, and I know what the devil is capable of doing. Why? I've been studying on the devil a long time. And I watch his every move. But you know what I love even more? I've been studying the word. 
That's what I like about the word. It tells us about Satan. It tells us what to look out for, how to do it, what to go about. This is our instructions. And half of us don't even want to read instructions. It's just like buying the entertainment center, going to Walmart and buying the entertainment center or some kind of cabinet and thinking that I know it all. I don't even need the instructions. I can look at the box. Oh, I know how they go. Let me throw the instructions in the trash. Don't need them. Don't need the, I don't need these instructions. Oh, man. And next thing you know, you're trying to put the piece together and it's taking you about two hours all because you don't want to read the instructions. What I found out in life, it's best to read. It's best to study. It's best to comprehend and understand. These are my instructions. I ain't talking about putting no cabinet together or entertainment center together. Now I'm talking about putting my life together. So there's nothing wrong with reading other things and and and, and but don't 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 let them other things have you and un, and overtake you like they're more important than this. This is just me speaking for myself. I read a lot about all kind of stuff, man. So when you look at harp, y'all, and like I say, then you look at what's going on with the airplanes. The technology that's out now, our planes are crashing every day now. Every day. And I think about 9-11. Let me ask y'all something. I'm not even going to expire on that. I'll do it in another video. But do you think being locked really had anything to do with 9-11? He even said he didn't have nothing to do with it. Some of y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Do you think being locked had anything to do with 9-11? 9-11, I mean. Heart. You go back to, ooh, man, even 1990. When you think about heart, since the mid, we can say the mid-1990s, terrorist attacks. Look at how many of them this has been. Suicide bombings. Car accidents. Tornadoes. Hurricanes. Floods. Earthquakes. All these things that Jesus said once again in Matthew 24, but he never did say, I will be coming to do all this. He just said all this will be happening in diverse places. Pretty much just different places. We got hidden power. Secret things. Stuff they got out now to try to control your mind, y'all. Is the Lord responsible for all this? And then look at the power of the government. And once again, go back and look to look at what the government done to Jesus. As he had to stand before the government. Man, uh, many man is talking about the book of Daniel on blog talk. And he's talking about it well. And you got to have the faith of them three Hebrew boys, y'all. That's the only way we're going to make it. And we got to live the way the Lord say live. So, do you think the Lord is responsible for these disasters? Or do you think the government is responsible for these disasters? Or do you think the Antichrist is responsible for these disasters? See, that ain't no trick question, y'all. Because I'm saying that because I want to ask you this question. Who is the God of this world? Japan. Do you think do you think in Japan did Harp have anything to do with that earthquake? Those tsunamis? Let me let me move a little bit higher as I'm trying to close this video. Let me go back to some of my people that's down here who I love dearly. They had to come from Katrina, from New Orleans. And I hate it how so many people talk bad about New Orleans. Yes, sin is everywhere. But everybody is not corrupt. Everybody is not bad like that. I have ran into some people down here who I consider my brother and sister in Christ. I love the people who came down here from New Orleans. What if that had happened to us, Dallas, Texas, and we had to go somewhere and be called a refugee? See, you better be careful what you say about people. 
So all of my New Orleans people on here that look at me, y'all know I love you, and it's coming from the heart. What about Katrina? Washington knew what had needed to be done before time to protect the citizens of New Orleans from those disasters like Katrina. You was a citizen. Lord help me. You was a citizen and when things went down bad, you was considered a refugee in your own place. A refugee. Talked about bad. What they coming down here for? Let me tell you something. As these times get worse, a lot of people going to get a great experience on what some of the people in Katrina had to deal with. So while you saw some, so many people laughed and made fun, well, same thing make you laugh or make you cry. Consider a stranger in your own country. Treat it like dirt. And we want to say this is the Lord doing all this. Now we can understand back in, in, in Sodom and Gomorrah when the Lord said he wasn't destroyed if he found some righteous folk, but he didn't find no righteous folk. Lot and his family had to get out. But then when you look at when we were just talking about Jonah going down to Nineveh, you had people that repented in Nineveh. So I'd be a fool to get on here and say, oh, yeah, the Lord needed to wipe out New Orleans, man, because it was just too much sin. Now, I got too much sin on my own street. Right here. So everything you can't put on the Lord. On the Lord. You got all this technology, y'all. And you telling me they didn't know a levy had been broken. When we got technology looking in your house right now, they looking at me speaking to you right now. That's why I want the devil to know what I'm doing. They looking at me right now through my own house as I'm speaking to you. Some of us don't want to believe that. Cameras all over. They got things in airplane that can look through your house. But I have faith in the Lord, y'all. Do you have the faith? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Y'all have a, a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. This is real.